Hey there, welcome back. We're on lesson 101. We start the last 23 lessons. You ready for this stuff? All right, hang in there. Finish strong. Make your last 23 lessons. I mean, bust through these things. Take 15 seconds extra on each problem that you're doing in these problem sets and, you know, get it right. You know, get two or three extra ones right per, you know, problem set if you can. Really knock these things out. Really try to do a good job. Really finish strongly as you're doing it. You know, the day goes by, next day you won't remember that you spend five extra minutes on it. You'll just have it done. And then next year when you do an algebra one, man, you're gonna get this stuff so well. It's gonna be awesome, okay? But uh, like Saxon always does, algebra one, when you start algebra one, of course, you're gonna go a couple of months without math, probably, unless you're just going through the summer. If you're not, just ask, beg your parents to please let you do math through the summer. They'll, you know, <clears throat> tell them you'll do the dishes every day three times a day. If they please, please, please let you do math all through the summer, maybe they'll let you. Depends on how nice your parents are, anyway. But, you know, the first couple of, like 30 or lessons or so of Algebra One, that's just kind of a review of Algebra One half. So, <clears throat> anyway. Well, let's look at multiplying exponential expressions. Well, what does that mean? This, of course, is just a shorter version of, you know, doing this. Who wants to write that five times, you know? Whoever thought of this, putting it, you know, as a subscripted variable like that, or superscript, I guess you should say. I mean, that's that's genius, man. That's great. Saves you a lot of time, right? And it keeps you from having to, like, count these things out and then, you know, like, takes up so much space in a book. Forget it. But that just means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, times 3 which is, what, 9, 27, 81, 243? A lot easier to do that way, okay? How was this written? 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 2nd? Well, you would just go, okay. 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 2nd. And what is that, by the way? That's 3 to the 7th, right? Hmm, interesting. 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 2nd is 3 to the 7th. Gee, I wonder how they got that 7, okay? Obviously, you know, all right? Let's look back and prove this. <clears throat> and then let's take another step, which is a piece of cake, all right? The value of this well, what is three to the second power? Nine, right? Times three to the first power? Three. Nine times three? 27. Well, let me ask you something. What is 27 if you had to write it as a power of three? 27 is three to the what power? Third, right? Okay. So look, again, we prove it here. Three to the second times three to the first is three to the third. Two plus one is three. All right, we're gonna take that information and use it in seconds, pretty cool. All right, the value of this, <clears throat> two to the second times two to the third. Well, two squared is four times two to the third is eight, right? Two times two times two, four times eight is 32. And if you do this, 32 is two to the first, right? Times two, that's four, eight, 16, 32. So two squared times two to the third is two to the fifth. Lo and behold, look at our numbers again. There's a five and there's a three and there's a two, okay? Well, you know, what keep what happens is, let's just do this again. Five squared times five to the third times five to the fourth, you could just say is five to the what power? Two plus three plus four, right? So five to the ninth power, all right? We don't have to know what the answer is. I guess we can figure it out. What, five times five is 25, 125. You know what, forget it, it takes too long, <clears throat> all right? We don't have to, you know, go figure out the answer to this. We can just write it as a power of 10, right? 10 to the 15th times 10 to the 17th is 10 to the 15th plus 17th is 32nd, okay? And there you go, okay? All right, now this one's kind of weird. Two to the fifth times five to the third. Well, what's different about that one? Okay, the numbers that are bigger, like the, they're called bases. The exponents are the smaller, you know, the exponents. The numbers that are the two and the five, those are the bases. Well, those do not match. So since they don't match, there's nothing you can do. Don't try to say, oh, that's gonna be something five plus three is eight. Maybe that'll be, I don't know, two times five is 10? Maybe two plus five? I mean, there, there is no such way to do this. So they, the bases have to match for you to you pull that little trick about adding the exponents, okay? So if it works for real numbers, right? I mean, we know that two squared times two to the third is two to the fifth, and three squared times three to the first is three to the third, because we just add them, right? So if it works for real numbers, at some point somebody went, well, this works every single time I try it with real numbers, so I guess we can just say, you know, it works for anything. It works for any number, we'll call it X, right? 
It works for fake numbers, right? So you can do the same thing. Look at this thing. This isn't hard. X squared times X to the third. Now, if you want to visualize this, if you're a visual learner, that means it's X times X, right? X squared times X to the third. One, two, three. Well, you can see right there, that's X to the fifth power, right? No need to do all this work, though. Just add those two exponents together. You got it. That's all there is to it. Okay, how about this one? That's the product rule. Okay, so you can write this down if you want to, or you can just memorize it, or just kind of visualize what it means in your head. This is the actual rule. X to the m power times x to the n power is the same thing as x to the m plus n power, right there. Now, by the way, do you know how to add negative and positive numbers? You know how to add, let's say, negative 5 plus 8, right? Or negative 12 plus 4? Of course you do. So you just do the same thing. You don't have to always have a positive number like x to the positive fifth up here. You can have a negative number. It can be x to the you know, negative fifth or negative twelfth or whatever. You just do exactly what you're given. And we'll do a couple of these right now. Okay, pause and copy if you need to. <clears throat> okay, well, all we need to do on this, if you look at this, you go, oh no, there's x's and y's. Okay, fine. You just get the x's together, then we'll get the y's together, right? And if you don't see an exponent number here, that's a one. So we're just, let's clump all these x's together. There's one, there's one, and there's one, okay? You tell me, what is x to the first times x to the second times x to the fourth? x to the seventh, right? One plus two plus four is seven. Done. Now let's do the y's. y to the seventeenth times y to the sixth is y to the seventeen plus six. There you go. And there's nothing else you can do with this. You can't cram these together, so just leave them just like that, and you're done. It's simplified. This is not an equation, this is an expression, right? So you're just simplifying it. Okay, let's do another one. Oh no, <gasps> looks complicated. Help, mom, please put me in basic math. You can do this, come on. All you need to do is go, okay, every time I don't see a number, there's a one there. So let's clump all the a's together. So that one and that one, okay. So a to the first times a to the second, a to the third. a to the third times a to the fourth, a to the seventh. Right, okay, done. There's m's and there's an m there. So again, m to the first times m to the fifth is m to the sixth. m to the sixth times m to the sixth is m to the twelfth. There you go. That's all. Don't try to do anything else. You're done. Go to the next problem. All right? Okay. And let's go ahead and go to the next problem. So try the practice problems on page 315. Go ahead and try um, a and b and then come back when you're done. Okay. Well, you know if there's no number there, you're just going to put a 1, right? So that's going to be 3 to the 1 plus 2 plus 5, which is 3 to the 8th power, okay? And if you wanted to do this, you could do 3 times 3 times, you know what, don't bother. You don't need to. Um, the answer should be 6,561, I believe. Anyhow, this is good enough for our purposes. Okay, so B, <clears throat> you might look at this and go, ah, we're missing stuff. Okay, fine, just stick it in there then. I get x to the first times x to the first, x squared. x squared times x to the fifth, x to the seventh. x to the seventh times x to the uh, second is x to the ninth. That's it. Okay? Then you have y to the first times y to the third. That's y to the fourth. And these type of problems, when you simplify these, you want just one example of each variable. Just one. That's it. Okay? You don't want to have anything like, I got the answer. It's x to the second times y to the fifth times x to the third. No. These need to be mashed together. Okay. All right. Go ahead and pause it and try C and D. Okie doke. I'm adding the one because I like to see it. A to the first times a to the third is, oops, a to the fourth. a to the fourth times a to the fourth is a to the eighth. Don't say a to the sixteenth. That's not right. If you have a to the fourth, that's a times a times a times a, and then times a to the fourth again, it's a times a times a times a. That's eight of them total. You're just adding these. Okay, so let's go b squared times b to the first is b to the third. b to the third times b to the first again, that's b to the fourth. That's it. Don't worry about it. Now, if your answer says b to the fourth times a to the eighth, that's fine. Who cares? It doesn't matter what's five times nine. Same thing as nine times five. Who cares what order things are multiplied in? Okay, d. I'm putting the y to the first. I'm putting the y to the first there. You know, I don't know. We could just look at this. There's only one x squared. Let's just put that. That's all we got. So we're done. Y to the first times y to the third is y to the fourth. Y to the fourth times y to the first is y to the fifth. 
y to the fifth times y to the fourth is y to the ninth. Bingo, bingo. There we go. Dollars to it. Okay. See so y'all. Have a good day. Get a bunch of these right. Okay. Do them right. Do be very precise and accurate. Okay. See y'all next time. Bye.